Okay, I'm going to make this video to cover a question I see come up a lot in the Inkscape for CNC group. It's, you know, someone has a path, and I'm just using this fire pit just for an example. It, it could be a square, circle, whatever. You have a path, and you want to add this design or any design that's already a path to the other design, and you want it to be cut out in there. So the first thing I would do, there's a couple ways you can do this is I would change the color of this and pull it down on top of this other path where you want it. I'm just throwing it on there. I'm not actually using this. It's just for an example. So I would set that where I want it. And one thing you can do is, you know, cut out the shape of this and then tab this design in. So there's a couple ways you could do that. The way I would probably do it is to control D, duplicate that and then select a different color, so I'm going to make it blue. Then I can shift control K, which is path, break apart, and then shift control plus, oh, I got to click off that, shift control plus to union it, which is just path union. Now I have duplicated that path, broke it apart and unioned it, so it's just a blank of my design, but it's the same size as my design. So I'm going to page that down underneath the red one. Now I can path outset and do that a few times. Or you can hit control zero on your keyboard. It's the same thing. And you can see each time I hit control zero, it makes it just slightly bigger. Once you have it where you want it, which you would be shooting for something probably twice the width of your kerf. Uh, one way you could check that is just take the circle tool hold control and pull you the circle out change the color and I'm in inches so let's say I was cutting it with fine cut which I probably wouldn't be on a fire pit but fine cut consumables 45 thousandths curve so I would want to go at least 90 thousandths and make sure that I'm outset enough for that curve to fit in there twice that looks like I've got enough spacing for this example so now I'm going to backspace and delete that. So once you've outset it enough to where your kerf would fit and you would get a decent cut, then you can just take that, select it, select the fire pit or whatever design it is you're cutting it out of, and path difference to cut that out. So now I've cut a hole out basically in the fire pit, just a slight bit bigger than my design here. Now I could change the color of this to black and the only thing left to do would be to go around and I'll change the color here so you can see make little rectangles you know probably on a fire pit you'd want to go probably at least a quarter inch thick to bridge it and then I would take this and go around in various places probably want to turn my snapping off there and lay this in I would just keep control D uh, and I would go around I'm not gonna actually use this so I'm not being real precise but uh, I would go around and just lay these in in certain spots wherever I think it would need to be bridged and work my way around add these rectangles to the design to bridge it and then you know, I'd probably add one here in the center and then maybe I don't know add a few in here or something you oh didn't mean to make that smaller you know you'd want to consider how big your design is how much how long your cut is here without a tab I'm just roughly throwing these in for an example but so I would go around and lay these rectangles in and then I would pull a box here it selected everything and my design but I'm going to click off the design and just hit path union Then I'll change those to black then I'll select my design and my pit and hit path union and now that's welded in tabbed in and as you can see it has a slight offset all the way around 
kept my design. It's welded into the pit. That's ready to cut. I mean, it probably needs a little cleanup. Anytime you do an outset, it'll add a few nodes here and there. But basically, that's ready to cut. So I'm gonna now I'm gonna go back and show a couple other ways you can do this. Uh, keep going back. Okay, that's good enough. Delete that. Now I'm gonna select this blue outset and I'm going to delete it. Another way you can accomplish that without having to draw a little circle to measure a curve width is I can select this path hit control D to duplicate it change the color again oh, change the fill not the stroke but then basically I would shift control K this again which is the path break apart right here then I would union it now that it's just an the outside contour I can turn my fill off, turn the stroke on to something that you can see there, that green. And then I would go to my fill and stroke properties and I can set my stroke to say a quarter inch. That's going to make that stroke, the quarter inch will start from the center of the stroke. So I've got basically an eighth inch outside and an eighth inch inside, if that makes sense, from where the stroke was. So now I can go path, stroke to path. Now do path, break apart, to break that apart again. Path, union. Now I'm union in that. You could, if you really wanted to take the extra steps, select just the inside contour and delete it, but union it gets rid of it anyway. So now I can page this down. And as you can see, that made the same, basically accomplished the same goal using the stroke width. But the difference there is I know exactly that the distance from here to here is an eighth inch because I made that stroke a quarter inch. So there's an eighth inch here and it was an eighth inch this way. So I have an eighth inch of room all the way around this design to cut. And then you would do the same thing, difference that from the fire pit, add your rectangles, union it all together, and your design would be good. So that's two different ways you could do that. Now I'm going to backspace and show one other scenario, which I've seen, I've seen you know, multiple times, where you don't want to add the border around it with the tabs. What you can do is put breaks in the outside contour to where it just cuts this as a line and there's breaks to hold the inner parts in and it cuts the inner parts out. What I would do for that is click on this design, turn my fill off down here, hold shift and hit any color you want, but I'm gonna select red. Now that's my stroke. Now when you're, when you're gonna break lines, you're gonna to wanna to work in stroke and you don't want a fill color on. So I'm also gonna select my fire pit design turn the fill off and I'm gonna hold it make it black and I'm gonna it's hard to see there but that strokes black for the fire pit because when you're working with just stroke and you have open lines you don't want fill colors it'll screw it up so now all I would do is go around and go in node editing mode I would select my design and I would go around and pick spots like say here I want to break this line I just double clicked right here I'll back up there wasn't a node there. If I double click anywhere on a line, it'll add a node. Now I can draw, drag a box over those two by holding the left key and dragging a box over them. Come up here to this option, delete segment between two non endpoint nodes. Hit that and that'll delete that stroke right there. So now I have an open break in that line. And I would just work my way around this design. Double click here delete that line and I would slowly work around and pick spots to bridge this say maybe here there's already two nodes that'd be convenient so I will delete that piece I can come over here to the same spot delete those 
and that would just work my way around here I'd probably want something out on the end of the barrels so maybe I'll add an extra node here select those delete that line segment uh, here select those delete that line segment and you would just work your way around and you're basically adding breaks in this outside path to hold this design in I would select here delete that segment delete that segment I'm just I'm not really oh I hit the wrong function there I'm not really being real precision with how I'm cutting those lines if I was doing this to actually cut I would probably take a circle around you know make it a quarter inch and put quarter inch breaks in these that way I can tell roughly how far apart I'm making that additional node but I'm just doing this for an example so here I'll do it one more time delete that segment and so now I have broken this outside path here 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 uh, here at the end of the barrels here at the tops of the gun and here on each side of the hat so that outside contour it's just gonna cut single line passes and stop at those endpoints and that's gonna hold these inner parts together because the outside is not gonna fall it's not gonna cut the whole thing out solid one piece so then when I have it broken and the way I want it all I need to do to add this design to the fire pit is drag a box around all of it and hit path combine now that's all one path that's ready to cut that's this file is added to this file it's ready to cut there's breaks in the lines so it'll cut these inner pieces they'll fall out but the outer contour will just cut single lines so that is three different ways that you could add a pre-made design to a panel whether it be a fire pit a square a circle whatever it is those are three different ways you can accomplish that goal hopefully that helps some people out thanks for watching